Welcome to the Block and Nickel Podcast, where we talk about finances for now and how to stay rich forever. I am your moderator, Donnell. Special shout out to Slot Boy. Damn, I love that song. Welcome back to the Black and Nickel Money Pod. Today we're going to talk about educating yourself and making sure that you're on top of things. Now, I've been in, in the process of reevaluating this, this this podcast and asking people around me and taking surveys about what people really want. And something that I notice is that everybody isn't a large proportion of people that I've surveyed and talked to about and consulted with about the, the direction of this podcast is that most people are not interested in becoming mega wealthy. Most people don't want to be rich. They're more interested in financial freedom, financial prosperity. And I want to talk a little bit about that because there's a there's a misunderstanding that you can take your hands off the wheel and continue to become successful financially. Now, success is in the eye of the beholder. So, for instance, if you are from a place where your family doesn't own anything, they don't own properties, they don't they, you don't come from that type of generation. Most of your family is they rent and things like that. And uh, most of them are not high earners, meaning individually they don't make over $300,000 a year. Then a certain standard may not be. So for you to go maybe to be in the high 80s, annually earn over 80K a year, own your home, and not really have to worry about money, that's fine. As long as you can pay your bills and you can own some a few things, then that's cool. I don't I don't disagree with that. But what I want to talk about is future proofing yourself because although we may not want to be some of us may not want to be the richest people in the world, we have to understand that twenty years from now, due to interest and inflation, ten dollar bill will be worth a lot less. So you have to future-proof yourself. And this episode is going to be about that, financially future-proofing yourself. Now, there are a lot of vehicles you can take with that. If you're working in this podcast, is more subservient to the workers and the W-2 guys and girls. Uh, you want to focus on getting that retirement plan set up the right way. So that could come in plenty of forms. That could come in, yeah, that could come in the form of a, uh, a Roth IRA, as well as a 401k, or it could just be a 401k. You can maybe do some self-directed IRAs. <clears throat> you can um, move You can move and wiggle and finagle things a lot of different ways. Maybe you just want to own a few properties to make sure that you can keep cash flow. Whatever it is, just make sure that you, you, you have the future in mind. Now, becoming financially free it's the same thing. It's the same concept as being rich. You have to do it deliberately. And you have to educate yourself. Now, I'm not saying you have to be a wizard, but you have to take time out of the day, or out of your weeks or out of your months to say, where am I at? And evaluate that. Are your 401k mutual funds, are the, are the mutual funds, are the mutual funds in your 401k performing? If they are performing, are they performing to your to your liking? You see, if, if that's not happening, then you need to maybe swap that out and change the be change the the fund. There's nothing wrong with that. Just like we change shoes. When shoes get old, we, we get rid of them. So you, you have to be aware of your positions. That doesn't take a rocket science or a genius. It just takes somebody to be able to, you know, sit back and, and, and do a little bit of analysis. 
Shoot, we hunt for deals when we want to purchase something, when we want to rent a car. Hey, 90% of us listening to this podcast right now, when we, when we want to buy a car, first thing we do is research it. When we want to make big purchases for electronics and things like that, or when we want to go to a restaurant, we, we do that. We research it. We educate ourselves on, on that. Might check the reviews. So I'm offering that state of mind today. You shouldn't spend more time researching entertainment than you do your finance. Maybe you should spend an equal amount of time. I mean, it, it is your life at the end of the day, and you have to be deliberate about it. See, instant gratification forces you to check on these restaurants and check on these car prices and check on these different things and do the reviews and the research. Do the research. Why? Because it's simple. If you don't and you make a bad purchase or you go to a bad spot, a bad restaurant, you'll know that time. You'll know instantly, immediately. But the, 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 the weird thing is with finance, if you're in the wrong mutual fund, you won't know. If you don't research it, you won't know. Your money may grow. You may you may continue to retire fine, but then you look back and you say, damn, that was wasted energy because there was this other fund that was inside the group of 401ks that I, inside my 401k that I could have, I could have put my money into and that fund outperformed the one that I, that my money has been parked in forever, forever. So, you you have to future proof yourself. You know you can't you can't say, "Oh, I got a four hundred one k. I put money into it, and that's it." No. Every job gives you access to look at it, look at the funds, look at who, which ones that are in there, what options you have, which one you're holding your money in. You can compare them. And you don't have to do it all in one day. Shit, Rome wasn't built in a day. But what you can do is you can start that process and you can start looking at it. So I want you to future-proof yourself, whether you want to be rich or you just want to make sure that you don't have any medical bills or anything to worry about. Future-proof yourself. What type of, what type of insurance do you have? What kind of life insurance do you have? Is it term, whole life? I'm not here to tell you which is better than the other. What I'm here to, here to do is to get you to ask yourself the real question. Do you feel you're going to need life insurance at a certain point in your life? Hmm? Once you retire or once you hit that magic number, will you need life insurance? If not, then you, you, you may want to consider the type of insurance you need and what you're paying into monthly. Because see me, I know me, if everything goes the way I want it to, which I'm deliberately setting myself up for, once I retire, I won't need life insurance. My, my finances and my investments will be more than enough. My finances and my investments will be more than enough. So when I die, I won't need to. Everything will be covered. You see, they, these are the way. These, these are the ways you have to look at it. So future proof yourself. Remember, twenty years from now, that twenty dollar bill, that ten dollar bill will not hold as much power. The purchasing the purchasing power of that ten dollar bill will go down because there is a thing called inflation. And I'm not here to scare you. I'm just here to, to
talk about real things. So, once again, most of my fan, most of my listeners that I surveyed and I talked to, they don't care about being rich or being a multimillionaire, even though I do, but they don't. Now, here's the caveat. To live good, to be able to be able to go on these trips and to get a nice house and to be not just a, not just a nice house that's in the middle of nowhere or a nice house that's in the ghetto. I mean, to get a nice house that's going to hold this property value in a mature area. I mean, to get a really nice house. Get a couple of cars, toys, whatever the things you need, and take these trips and, and and travel around the country. If you're not into traveling, maybe just super decking out your house and all the pools and bells and whistles and everything that goes with the house. One of those fun houses. This is the caveat. Follow me. This is the caveat to live that kind of life. You have to be rich. You have to. So that might not be your goal, but if you want to live fabulous and take trips on a regular basis and do all these things when when, when your work life slows down, you're going to need some real bank. You're going to need coins. So here I am today, I'm talking to you about future-proofing yourself and making sure that your expectations are realistic. Future-proof yourself and make sure your expectations are realistic because it is real, my friend. So what do you want? What do you want? Is your investment style living up to what you want? Now, my goal with this block and nickel situation is to help not only empower you or give you the motivation to make moves, that's what the money party is about, but it, it is also to give you the tools that you need to check up on yourself and future-proof yourself. That's what it's all about. Now, whether you're rich, whether you're poor, right now, I'm sure you're going to want a lot more in the future because you can ask anybody. Once you become accustomed to a lifestyle, that becomes normal. And your norm may be somebody else's dream. Your normal may become someone else's dream. So what does that mean? That means when you take trips and stuff like that, you're going to want to do things a little a little more. Yeah. Orlando may not be enough for you. Maybe you need to go to Madrid now. Greece. All of these all all of these nice places and then when you come back from them with the beautiful beautiful views and everything else, you want to set foot into a nice home. You don't, want to, you don't want to come back to a dump where people are shooting and you got gunshots and sirens and stuff all night long. <laughs> no, nah, you want to come back somewhere nice, quiet, and serene. Future-proof yourself. Future-proof yourself. And future-proof your finances. And it all starts with education. Now, how bad do you want it? That's the second thing. Because, I, I mean, honestly, there, there, there is no instant gratification in this. This is, this is the future. And you have to be a forward thinker for this. 
but I understand that the relationships between checking on restaurants and reviews and all that stuff like that and checking on your finances. I understand. But it's out there. And you have to take your finances into your own hand. Now, we can all, there are a million of us that provide financial information and motivation out here. And you can do, you can follow all of us. But at the end of, end of, the, at the, end of the day, it is on you. So whether you want to be mega rich, Warren Buffett style, T.D. Jake style, or just wealthy with no worries like some of our um, grandparents and stuff like that. Whether you want to be like that or you want to be dumb rich, it doesn't matter. You have to take your, 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 your finances into your own hands. And the pact, this, this, is, this is the deal. This is the deal. The deal to getting wealthy and rich is that, or financially successful, or freedom, financially free is a better term I want to use. But the deal to being financially free is that you educate yourself on your finances. You can't have one without the other. You can't have bread pudding without bread. <laughs> That's financial freedom. You cannot have financial freedom without financial literacy. They go hand in hand. Thank you. This is Donnell from the Money Party.